Let's talk about water. It's everywhere, right? In rivers, oceans, the air, and even in the ice on a mountain top. But did you know water is constantly moving and changing its form? It can freeze solid, flow as a liquid, or disappear into thin air as a gas. This ability to shift between states makes water one of the most incredible resources on our planet. Water exists in three states, solid, liquid, and gas. Solid water is the ice and snow you see in polar regions or on snowy mountains. It forms when temperatures drop below freezing, locking water molecules into a rigid structure. Liquid water is what fills rivers, lakes, and oceans, and it flows freely, supporting life in countless ways. Gas or water vapor is invisible, but just as important. It forms when water evaporates, rising into the atmosphere. Whether it's a glacier, a flowing river, or the mist on a rainy day, water is always on the move. Here's a mind-blowing fact. 97% of all water on Earth is in the oceans, salty and undrinkable without expensive treatment. Of the remaining fresh water, about 2% is locked up in glaciers and ice caps, mostly in Antarctica and Greenland. That leaves us with a mere 1%, which includes groundwater, water stored beneath the surface, and surface water, like rivers and lakes. Surface water, though tiny in percentage, is the most accessible and vital for drinking, farming, and ecosystems. The atmosphere holds just a trace of water, but without it, we wouldn't have clouds, rain, or snow. So, how does water get around? Through the hydrologic cycle. It all starts with the sun, which heats up liquid water, turning it into water vapor in a process called evaporation. The vapor rises, cools, and condenses into clouds. When those clouds get too heavy, water falls back to Earth as precipitation rain, snow, sleet, or hail. Other water seeps into the ground, replenishing underground aquifers. Plants even join the cycle by releasing water vapor through their leaves in a process called transpiration. And so, the cycle begins again, keeping water in constant motion. The state of water depends on the environment. Cold temperatures freeze water into ice, while heat turns it into vapor. Pressure also plays a role. At higher altitudes, where air pressure is lower, water boils at a lower temperature. Geography matters too. Polar regions and mountains are home to ice and snow, while rivers and lakes dominate lowlands. The sun is the ultimate driver of this system, ensuring water moves between its states and supports life everywhere. Water may seem ordinary, but it's anything but. Its ability to change states and cycle through the environment makes it the lifeblood of our planet. Understanding how water moves, where it's found, and why it behaves the way it does helps us appreciate just how precious it is.